so once you get the application, the setup's gonna be really simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're gonna come to the GoToW setup page and you're gonna go ahead and walk through the configuration. It's just a matter of deciding, do you want us to create leads? Do you want us to create contacts? Do you want us to create campaigns? So you, know, you define that on this simple page right here. It's a couple of sub tabs that you will also click on and complete. Um, you click on them one at a time and you'll see it's pretty straightforward. Once you're completed with that, you are going to insert your credentials, your GoToWebinar credentials. Each of your accounts, uh, you can have multiple accounts, one GoToWebinar account or multiple GoToWebinar accounts. And uh, what you're gonna do is insert your credentials uh, you click on get your your uh, your access token here. That'll populate this information down here once you've done that. Um, and now this is really cool. Right here is where you define how far back do you want us to reach in and grab your old uh, GoToWebinars. So uh, even though you're just getting the, the uh, GoToWebinar integration now, you can reach back and get all your data from all your past webinars and, and bring them into Salesforce. And so you define that that period uh, or that that time frame uh, between these two fields right here. So once you get your webinars, you only have to do this one time. The first time you put your credentials in, click on the Get Webinars button, uh, and then the app will take over from there. From this day forward, your um, your webinars will automatically sync into Salesforce. So once you start syncing the webinars. You're going to come to this page here and you're going to see your go your upcoming webinars and your past webinars. Um, and as I'm looking at my upcoming webinars, I can see who the host is, the title, uh, what the start and end time is, and I can actually track the number of registrants. I also have a, a, a peek at my past webinars. Um, and with past webinars, again, I see the start and end times, the title, I see the number of registrants, the attendee, and the the attend number of attendees and the attendee percentage. To actually view the details of that webinar, let me scroll down to a past webinar. Um, I can drill into the webinar and now to start to see more details about that webinar. Um, you, so on this first page here, you can see I have all my performance details. I can see the a high level view of the webinar. QA results, I see my survey results, and I can see poll results here. And so if I look a little bit closer, I see the poll responses. Here's the question, here's the answer, here's the response rate. This is just a demo org, so there's not a lot of data in here. Also, I can click here and drill into additional reports. Uh, we have some out of the box standard Salesforce reports that will also give you a glimpse at the different survey responses, poll responses, and your Q&A sessions. Now up here, I can drill into the registrant details. So when I click on this sub tab, now what I'll see here is a list of all the registrants. I can see this check mark here indicates who has attended. And for the folks who have attended, I have their logged in time, their logged out time, the number of minutes attended. I can see right here, is this registrant a lead, uh, excuse me, a lead or a contact? Uh, there's a the registrant's name, and then we're pulling some fields from account from contacts or leads, uh, company name, state, and then their sync status. This over here will tell you if did we create the lead or did we just update that lead? Did we create the contact or did we um, or did we update that contact? Also, if there was an error in the integration. Uh, then it would you would indicate right here that there was a a, a sync error, and, um, and okay. So now, right here, I can also if I click on the individual uh, registrant's name, then it'll populate and show you their Q and A, their poll results, and their survey results. All right. If I click on the link, then that takes me over to the actual lead record. In that case, that Cartman was a lead, so I clicked on link. On the link, it brings me to his lead record. And on the lead record, you can see his entire webinar history. Okay, you see, I can see here he's attended one webinar, but he has his other two that he registered for but did not attend. Here I can click on and see his poll results, his survey results, and his QA results. So that'll take me right to the report for this specific lead record. If I look a little bit closer, um, 
this integration actually creates some activities. If I, if I was to register this lead from within Salesforce, then it's going to create a registration activity. I can also invite this lead to a webinar. And then when I do that, um, I, this, that also creates an activity record. You can also see that the campaign history uh, is going to mirror the, the um, webinars that that user has attended or registered. So you can see he's registered for two and attended one. And so, um, what else? Also, for the GoToMeeting integration, um, if let's say that I am a GoToWebinar user, but I don't have a GoToMeeting account, I can schedule, I can still schedule uh, other folks, the other uh, the people on my team who do have uh, GoToMeeting accounts. Um, if I click here, see, these other two users have GoToMeeting accounts. So right here, I would, I'd would say, okay, I'm going to click on, I'm going to, I'm going to create a meeting for our, this person here, the inside sales dude. So then I would schedule that meeting. If I click over here, I can take a look at his calendar and actually see when he's available. Click on schedule a meeting. And, uh, and uh, instead of having to log in to go to meeting, just take care of that right here. Also for the go to meeting integration, I can invite to a list of existing upcoming meetings, or I can schedule a meeting now schedule a meeting for some time in the future, or I can click on meet now, and then this, this lead would automatically receive the, the, the join URL, and my meeting will launch from here. Thanks a lot for taking a look at our GoToMeeting, GoToWebinar integration. You can click on install now, in, uh, or get it now, install it in your sandbox, and start testing it for free, uh, or if you put it in production, you get a 14-day free trial. Call us at 480-696-3812 if you'd like to schedule a demo or you have more questions about our go-to meeting, go-to webinar integration. Thank you.